Hey everyone, welcome back uh, to another vlog with me, Seppi. Or if you're new here, my name is Seppi, which I've already said, which was stupid. But today, I thought I'd bring you along to whatever I'm up to, which is what I pretty much do in all of these vlogs. Um, I am currently going to be going on a mission, which I should fill you in on. I don't know why I'm looking in the fridge. Does anyone else do that? Where you walk into the kitchen and you just open the fridge and look at it for no reason, even though I've already had dinner. Basically, I'm going to be headed to the gym, but before I really want an ice latte and everywhere is shut because it's bank holiday. Um, yeah, I know this sounds like the most bullshit, sad thing to be upset about, but I just really, really want one. I feel really low energy and I also want to go to the gym because I just feel like everything that I ate on holiday is currently sitting on my board. Um, let me show you guys my outfit real quick. My current camera stand is two porridges as you do. Um, I'm currently wearing some t-shirt, I don't even know where it's from. Um, underneath I'm wearing my sports bra, my shorts are from Forever 21 Jinwa, and my trainers are Nike. And I know what you guys are thinking, I can already read your mind, Seppi, you are such a fashionista. And I can tell why you're a fashion blogger. No, I know I look like crap, but hopefully no one goes to the gym on a bank holiday Monday, which is my plan. I wonder what she's singing. My house is a total pigsty and I would come up with a fabulous excuse as to why it's messy, like we had people around or we haven't had time to clean. But the truth is, is that none of us want to clean. My mum isn't here and she's usually around to wait for the cleaner, for the cleaner to come clean or she cleans it herself 24 seven, poor babe. But mum, if you're watching this, I promise to call the cleaner and clean the house myself. I'm not gonna switch on the lights in my car, otherwise I'm just gonna look really weird in the gym car park. Is this finished? No, it's not finished. Um, but I just got my drink from Starbucks. Let me switch off the car. Just got my drink from Starbucks. Um, I love blended iced coffees, but like I never knew Starbucks sold them. Oh my god, this lighting is really bad, guys. I'm really sorry, and I'm like halfway through the steering wheel. Um, I love the blended iced coffees, um, but I never knew Starbucks did them. I'm just gonna head into the gym and work out for like 30 minutes. I might bring my camera with me, but I probably won't film my whole workout. Just like little snippets for you guys to see what I'm gonna do. I'm just doing cardio to burn off like all of Italy. If you watch the Milan vlog, you'll see why I needed to burn off Italy. Like I literally ate so much on that trip and I don't regret any of it because it was so yummy. And oh my God, people are driving past me and they're thinking, why am I talking to a camera? It's, it's like 8.30 at night and you might be thinking, oh, who goes to the gym 8.30 at night on a bank holiday? Like you've had the whole day, but I didn't. So my consultant asked me to come in. This is on Thursday. I asked her, can I get signed off? like uh for presenting a case to you she was like yeah sure come in on monday present this case to me la -da -da, and um if it's good i'll sign you off and i was like yay fab and i knew it was bank holiday so i thought she told me to come in because it's bank holiday she'll have time because she doesn't have time now obviously i get up i go travel an hour to get to uni and i call her no as in i get one of the midwives to call her because obviously i don't have her number and she was like, Seppi, I feel so bad. I realized on Friday that it was bank holiday when I told you to come in. And I was hoping that you would realize that it was bank holiday and not come in. And I was like, knowing my luck, you know, I'm really not going to test if a consultant like knew it was bank holiday or not. Because if I did have that theory, I'd probably be wrong and probably get punished for it. But it was totally fine. She apologized so much. Like, I actually love her. She is an amazing consultant. Um, so now I'm just going to work out. And I don't know why I've given you a whole three-minute explanation about why I've come to the gym on a Monday. Like, surely it's fine. But I just wanted to give you some context about why it's so late. And I have so much other things to do other than just go to the gym at, like, 8.30 p.m. But, yeah. <laughs> And my memory's gonna die again. Hold on, let me delete some rubbish. Man down. Stop. <laughs> Don't lay on the seven foot bed sheets yet. You might catch no, bed bugs. No, that's not the point. You might the catch. The point is. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat clear so much. <laughs> and she's the diet police. Diet, please. Cool. Why are you so if anyone watches Why the Milan vlog, so they will know diet. how much rubbish you're chatting about being a diet police. No, but that was the man. If you want to eat like a beast, no one cares out here. <laughs> ow, ow, someone's you scratched me. <laughs> this is the. Ow. <laughs> I'm, so yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sleepy. 
it is like somewhere between six and seven in the morning and So I thought I'd show you guys my final outfit. Sorry, my voice is still so croaky and I'm so dead from being so tired. So my blazer is from Mango. This top is New Season Zara. And these trousers are also Zara. And the outfit looked much better without my face in it because honestly, I just could have made more effort, but I'm too tired. Okay guys, it is currently 8.15 p.m. And for you guys, I literally haven't moved from the same spot but the lighting's changed. But for me, I've had like the longest day. I'm just gonna make myself dinner. So we'll do that together. But I thought I'd show you guys just how long my days can be. Because I don't, I know that sometimes for my vlogs, oh my God, I look like a state. I know sometimes for my vlogs, it might seem like I'm making med school sound like you can go out every single night or whatever. Actually, I don't think I make it look like that, but I don't want to make it look like that is my point as in you Obviously are gonna have a lot of days where you are working long hours and like for example now that I've got home at 8 I was actually meant to finish at 5 but um, I ended up going to an extra clinic the doctor um, Asked me if I wanted to come and I said yeah, so I went to a colposcopy clinic and yeah, so I did that until about 7 7 15 and then it took me an hour to get home, so now I'm just going to make dinner. And I was going to go gym, but I'm not going to make it to that. So yeah, there's going to be days where you're going to want to go gym. Like for example, had I got home earlier, I would have gone gym and then eaten food. But right now I'm too hungry, and then after food, by the time my food is digested enough to be able to work out, the gym will be closed. So yeah, I can't go today, but it's not the end of the world, I can always go tomorrow. So yeah, you're going to have to make sacrifices. So for dinner, I literally put these sweet potatoes, I put cuts through them and I put them in the microwave for four and a half minutes. And then I got a can of tuna and I added about one tablespoon of mayo, one tablespoon of sriracha, some black pepper, and I think I'm going to add some salt. And I'm going to put some salt and pepper on this. So, And then Sol's made me some salad shirazi. And that is literally what I'm going to munch up for dinner. Let me put it all together on a nice plate and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the final product. I don't know if this looks like less appetizing than it did to begin with, but uh, right now, nothing will look less appetizing than me after a long ass day. I know, if there was any chance that anyone out there had a Persian money crush after watching this vlog, it will 100% disappear. And then I'm probably gonna shower and call it a night. So it's Wednesday afternoon and I really feel like I should probably invest in a tripod because my camera is currently sitting on a bottle of water, like literally like the lid of a bottle of water and I'm concerned about its safety but I also cannot be bothered to like try and put it anywhere else because it just looks sucky. Um, and I'm gonna go, I don't have uni on Wednesday afternoons so I'm gonna go get myself a Starbucks and come home and do some studying because life is just so lit like that. Um, but no, seriously, I might go out in the evening, so I might as well get some work done now in the day. And as if I just don't look trampy enough, my socks don't even match. Like the top of this one is like pink and the top of this one is blue. So I've put on some prettier trainers that I got for Christmas and hopefully this will sort out the situation even though my top doesn't even have ironing. And it looks even worse in this lighting. I know, I'm just gonna give up with this outfit. It's not like anyone's gonna see me. But I just thought I'd show you. I kid you not, as I set up this camera, there is currently a guy to my left staring at me, <laughs> watching me do this. But I literally dashed in and got a star box. So I'm so hyped about this. Oh my God, I really need to fix my hair. This is what it looks like when I come out the shower and it air dries, by the way, guys. Um, but oh my God, it's squishing. My local waitress has a sushi counter thing now. I know, I was so hyped, okay? I think I've already mentioned this in another vlog or something. Like, I've just basically told everyone, oh my god, my bag ripped. But basically, they have, like, sushi. I know it's, like, kind of sideways and falling because I, like, put it in the box, like, in the bag, weirdly. But this is a 
spicy California raw and this is just some standard sush. I feel like I would never get full off this alone. I don't know how much everyone else eats. So I'll probably have like two bites of this as well and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest. Someone at some point will eat this. Um, and then I got some coconut water. So this is just like basically a waitrose haul at this point in time. We're okay with it. We're going with it. And I got some fake spaghetti because I love pasta. My biggest kryptonite is pasta. I'm trying to stop eating it. So I'm going to have this with this at some point for a dinner with chicken. And I think that it's super healthy and it tastes so good. I love it. So this is just spicy pesto and this is butternut squash spaghetti and they stock these up with trues. Last thing in here is feminine hygiene products which you guys don't really need to see on the waitress haul. But yeah, I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I feel like you guys have seen enough of like a standard couple of days of me not going out. Cause I feel like all my vlogs are always me going out and um, when the odd occasion does happen, I'm joking. When I don't go out, I never vlog, which I don't know why. Cause Obviously, there's going to be times where I don't go out. So, I thought I'd show you guys, you know, just a standard chillin' daily kind of vlog life thing. And this hair is annoying me. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and you like my normal life vlogs, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below. I can't believe how much our little YouTube fam is growing. And leave me comments. I love reading your comments and I literally reply to all of them. Um, so that's it really. Oh yeah. Don't forget to check out my socials. My Insta they'll all be linked down below. My Instagram is Persian Bunny. My Twitter is the Persian Bunny, and my Snapchat is Sepi Samai. Love you. Bye.